I've always been a huge fan of silent films, especially Buster Keaton. And when his films were released on DVD, I noticed that he filmed a chase scene in North Beach in San Francisco, where I used to live. So just sort of on a whim, I decided to see if I could track those locations down. And I did so rather easily. And I don't know, for some reason, uh, I've just enjoyed the, the, you know, the problem solving. The, the thing about silent films that were filmed on location, they actually were filmed in a real spot. Um, and that real spot still exists somewhere. And somehow the challenge of tracking it down was always very appealing to me. And so it was just sort of a simple hobby that grew into a, a series of books. Well, one of the things that I've noticed in tracking down those locations, if you can find a spot, uh, the filmmakers were often very efficient. So often they would film on one street corner but turn the camera north and south and east and west. And so sometimes if you find that one shot you'll re and you go to the spot in person, you'll realize that they filmed several other scenes there as well. One thing that I found very interesting, especially with Buster Keaton, he would travel miles and miles to find the perfect setting for, the, for his gag. But on the other hand, if he just needed a simple shot of someone walking down the street, he would film them literally right across the street from his studio. And if you know what you're looking for, in all of his films, you'll see scene after scene that's filmed right across the street from, from his studio. Well, the, the area of, of uh, Hollywood and Cahuenga, uh, the block of Cahuenga south of Hollywood Boulevard, was a very uh, popular place to film. And Harold Lloyd and Buster Keaton both filmed several scenes from their movies there. Um, and it's, you can literally walk down the street and building after building after building, you can say, you know, Harold filmed here, Buster filmed here. Um, it's, it's not something that's readily apparent unless you put all the pieces together. But it, it makes sense. That at, the, at the time, especially in the early 20s, there weren't a great number of uh, commercial districts from which they could choose to, to shoot. And so Hollywood Boulevard and Cahuenga, it was close to their studios. And so it was only natural they would, they would go there if they needed a simple shot of someone walking you know, by a, uh, a shop window or something. One of the things that's really quaint, if you study what's going on in the background of these films, um, you can see people in the background, you know, they're very respectfully standing and, and waiting. But in, in some of the early Chaplin films, when he's coming in and out of a storefront, you can see the reflection of people in the windows. You can see people down the street. And so there was a, there's always been a great fascination in, in watching people shoot films, but even from the very beginning. And uh, I, I think it's really quaint because nowadays they would uh, use CGI to erase the people or, or have police chase them away. Uh, but, you know, there are people's great-grandparents uh, who are unintentionally in the background of some of these classic films.